truly wonderful the celebrations of this season will be. Have much fun together, we will. <laughs> This is one of those videos that I wanted to do a little bit earlier since it's seasonal, but that's okay. My wife and I were at Home Depot a little bit after Christmas and we were walking down the aisle and then something caught my eye. And this is one of those rare times where I said, hey babe, I should stop in my tracks. And I said, we need to get this. We have to get this. So this is the animated Yoda figure that's three and a half feet tall for both Halloween and Christmas. Since it's after Christmas, we did get it on sale, but for those of you looking at getting this for 2024 or beyond, let's open this up and take a look. Not sure what this is over here. Might be a little bit damaged. Hopefully it won't be uh, too hard to clean up. But anyway, we have some additional instructions on paper. And one thing I do want to point out with this piece and then with the uh, other piece back there, this foam is supposed to stay on. So there's a label that I'm glad I read. It says, don't remove the foam. This is part of Yoda. Wow, creepy this is. I guess one thing that uh, doesn't really help is that the skin has a rubbery texture to it which I guess adds to the effect. I just realized that coincidentally, we match. But Master Yoda is actually ripped and I wish I had his abs. Overall, I really like this Yoda Halloween slash Christmas uh, display over here. Um, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so that may or may not have played into that impulse by decision. Uh, but speaking of the uh, purchasing of this, I did buy this during a Christmas sale. So originally it was $200 at Home Depot. Not sure if it's sold anywhere else, but I bought this at the 50% off deal after Christmas. So I bought this for hundred bucks. And if you waited a little bit longer, there's a 75% off deal. But at that point, this was sold out everywhere uh, near where I live. And if I wanted to buy this, uh, there's no option to ship it online. So I might have to go to like another state or something to buy this. So I was glad I was able to pick this up at the 50% off deal. Uh, there's a bunch of things I like about it. Um, I like that it lights up, that it talks, there's a motion, that's pretty cool. You also have the option to change between the Christmas and the Halloween themes, which is also pretty cool that you get to use it for both holidays. Um, it also has a sensor in the middle of Yoda over here that will not only sense people that are a few feet away, but it does um, for I think like several feet. I was kind of far back and Yoda did sense me moving and you know activated its uh, you know motion and uh, speech. And in terms of the uh, modes there is a light only mode as you can see over here so if you don't want the sounds there's a switch in the back behind Yoda that will allow you to select that mode or if you want the motion and the sound you flip the switch to that mode and then you get that 
Um, some of the things I think it can improve on, um, even though you have different signs, um, I think it's a little bit difficult to remove the sign because there's a metal ball that holds it down and you kind of have to use a pen or something to really push the metal ball in to pick this up. So a little bit wobbly here, uh, which is not too bad. I'm not really concerned about this uh, falling off or anything since it's you know staying on pretty good. Uh, but to remove the uh, sign with the metal ball is a little bit difficult. And I think even though you don't do that pretty frequently, uh, it's something that should be easier in terms of swapping out between the Halloween and the Christmas signs. Another thing I think um, is the uh, when Yoda talks, there's only three things that he says. And I think there should be more variety, especially since you know it's 2023, 2024. I think it'll be cool if maybe between the different signs, if there's like an NFC tag or something that you can have different themes that he'll talk about. So if you put the Christmas sign on, he will, you know, say more Christmassy things versus Halloween things. There's nothing here that uh, in terms of electrical contacts that connects this to Yoda, so Yoda won't know uh, which sign is up. Um, I guess alternatively, you can also have maybe a different mode between Christmas and Halloween um, types of things in the uh, control box in the back here. But anyway, I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but I think overall, if he has a little bit more variety of uh, speeches, I think that would be beneficial here. And then uh, another thing I think that they can improve on is the lightsaber. I think the build quality could be improved. Uh, for the light, there's a single LED that's at the base of the lightsaber and that lights up the whole tube over here. And I think um, if the if there's like a string of LEDs along the blade over here, it will light this up a little bit more evenly, which would be a lot better. Uh, I did turn down the studio lights so that the lightsaber would become brighter in the exposure for the camera. But if I were to turn up the lights, you can see that there's a big difference between the base of the lightsaber and then the middle and the end as well. Oh, and before we conclude, as you saw before, some assembly is required because the product comes in pieces out of the box. It's pretty easy to put together, no special tools required. A lot of the parts just kind of slide together. There's Velcro, and then also in terms of the wires, there's wire connectors that makes it obvious of what goes where, so that's pretty easy to figure out. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and may the force be with you.